Hello, I am Big C. This is the first episode of Big Z's Tank Diaries. I am the commander of the Unbound Legion, and we'll be going over some of my fights, other clan members' fights, and we'll be adding extra commentary, advice, and maybe a few comments about the current state of World of Tanks. My first fight uh, that I'll be showing, I am in my T-28 prototype. Are just beginning the fight, and I just happened to notice that there's a whole line of tanks to my right that I am going to start shooting at uh, if they want to stay there in the open and move back and forth where I can see them clearly. I will clearly take shots and uh, destroy a couple of them in the process. got over there and then another one comes up but I realize when he does come up you'll see me zooming in here quickly that he is right in front of our Artie I'm thinking oh crud the Artie's going to get hit so but then I think twice of shooting because my Artie's there and it would be just my luck to hit my own vehicle but the Artie kills him anyway so end of that particular drama. Well, my allies had already gone and moved ahead, so I thought I'd jump up on this little hill and see what I could do from up there. And immediately see an IS-3. Of course, it gets out of my sights before I can actually do anything with it. And then another tank passes through, and I can't do anything with him either. But then I see a Hellcat, and shoot and track him. And then just as he disappears, I shoot again and kill him off. I take a look at the 44, but he decides to go as far away as me as he decides to uh, cap as a uh, T-34, an IS-3, and a T that T-44 that I uh, missed uh, earlier. Uh, they're over there on the cap, so I kind of trundle around and get up here, and yes, the T-34 is right there, so I put another round into him, or put a round into him anyway, and then I put another round into him while he's beginning to just take a notice of me. The IS-3 to my right uh, apparently has already died. This is fine with me, but the T-44 circling me. Circling me is pretty much death for me. Uh, T-28 is not very fast. The turret doesn't go all the way around. I can't turn very quickly. And uh, I, so basically I just start backing into houses to hopefully slow him down as much as possible. My ally comes forward to help me out. But as you will see, he's not quite in time to save me. I hurt him enough, and uh, it costs him his life, but he does end up killing me. In this next fight, I am in my WZ-111 Chinese Heavy Tier 9. Uh, got my clan mate, Nervous Pumpkin, along with us, and uh, we are going around the flank on the northern side of the map. You see me take a quick shot at this T-34. It's just kind of begging to be shot at up there on the hill. And back away at least I'm going to get shot myself. Some of these tanks. 
tanks that are in the lower lower locations. The depression on these Chinese tanks just stink. shots into the 34 finally that don't just bounce and of course when I come back for my final shot uh, he gets killed right before I shoot. And we do. We get quite a few shots, actually. All the people in the forest get some shots on these tanks that are over at the hill. And somehow, Lucy manages to survive in the process.
situations and not so much in others. If you've got a fast moving tank trying to hit another fast moving tank and haven't got time to really aim, it's great for that as long as you're both on fairly level ground and roughly equal speeds. If you were trying to hit a partially hidden tank, it's pretty much useless. On that particular case, I was just kind of locking it to see if uh, I could get a good beat on it and use it that way. Now this here, I'm just shooting tank. Well, actually, I'm not shooting the tank. I just saw him out there. I estimated my chances of hitting pretty much nil, and then went ahead after this IS-3. OZ got killed by the IS-3 or other tanks in that area, and I do take this guy out. First shot completely bounces. But after that, it's like I take a little bit more time to aim and towards the tracks in the back and get him removed from the game. But in the meantime, I get the crud stomped out of me. So, I end up dying shortly after the IS-3 is dead.